travel friends, I hope all is well with you. My name is LJ and welcome to the vlog. So we're starting our journey here in the Jubilee Walk. Right behind me is a very historical building. This used to be the Parliament of Singapore. Now it is an art museum. It is called the Art House at the Old Parliament. Well, it makes perfect sense for it to be named like that, being that it was the Old Parliament, but it's really big. The weather is quite okay today. There's not a drop of rain since I woke up this morning and it's about 10.22 already. I had my breakfast and by the way, today's my birthday. So celebrating my birthday with a really good walk around Singapore. I might find some cool place to eat tonight, but I don't want to spend a lot. I was supposed to go to this buffet place in uh, Marina, Bay, Marina Bay Sands. And it's about 54 Singaporean, 56 Singaporean dollars for lunch. But being that I don't eat much, I don't think that's worth the price that I'm gonna pay. Anyway, yeah, so I've decided to just walk around, maybe find something to eat. We are just in front of the Singapore Museum. It is, it used to be like a Supreme Court and they converted it into a museum. Look at these bubble installations. This new light, the night um, art show that's happening right now here in Singapore is free. It's in a public space just right in front of the museum. And if you can see, that's Marina Bay Sands also. So yeah, today we are going to the other end of where we were the last time. Oh, look at this amazing bubbles. Anyway, yes, we are heading to that side, going to the Singapore Eye. I always call it Singapore Eye because it reminds me of London. But it's actually called the Singapore Flyer. So follow me in today's adventure and we shall see what we can do. This beautiful bubble art installation right behind us, the one that we actually just explored, is actually called Ephemeral by an artist called Atelier Cecil. I think the artist is Australian. Unfortunately, by the time I post this vlog, it's gonna be February maybe, so... Anyway, I hope you did get to see this in person because it's a beautiful installation and just right in front of the National Gallery of Singapore and also there's a great view of the Marina Bay Sands. So, win-win for this location. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I was gonna go inside the National Gallery of Singapore. I'm not sure if it's open. It looks really dumb. But, uh, uh, maybe that's why. The entrance is at Coleman Street, so if you want to go in the gallery, don't be like me. Do your research a little bit, but since you're watching this, now you know that you have to go inside through Coleman Street, which is on this part of the National Gallery. So you have to go in there. It's free, so you want to check it out? Maybe we should. Let me, let me check it out. We are just at the entrance of the National Gallery of Singapore and free entry. All right. And they open daily from 10 to 7. I don't know if we can bring the camera here. But yeah, this is the entrance of it. I'm not sure if it can be loud. Let me just ask someone. Hello, Paul. 
Libre po. Morning po. Libre po sa public space. Libre daw po sa public salang. Pwede mag-vlog? Yes. Hi po. Sige, doon yung sangbali. Maganda dyan. Bibigyan kita ng free coffee dyan. Oy, may pa free coffee. Thank you, ah. Oo. Free coffee. Dyan, dyan, dyan lang. Hi naman. Hi sa mga viewers. Konti lang viewers. Okay lang at least, diba? Oo, nag-iikot. Ay, mahuli ka sa mga boyfriend mo ate, ah. Huwag ganyan. All right. Sa 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 public spaces lah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. So yes, I just confirmed. I was talking to to Filipinas that um, you can actually vlog here, and it's free. Everything is free, including the galleries. It's also free. And you don't have to wear your mask, I think. Okay. Alright, I don't know where we're going, but we're heading down to the basement first. And see, I actually checked the map, but I just cannot decide where to go. So, I think the safest bet for me is to go down to the basement. This is the Concourse Gallery. The calm room. Ooh, there's a calm room also. So I found this called Calm Room here. It's at the gallery here and it's for free. And you can get to experience it, but you have to leave all your belongings and you have to be really quiet. I think I'm going to the Calm Room because I deserve a little calmness today. It's my birthday anyway, so I'm gonna go inside there. But I can't bring you because it's not allowed to film or document anything inside. All right, but I'll let you know what the experience is. And now we've reached the Supreme Court wing. Remember I told you that this used to be a Supreme Court? And now it's a gallery of the scene. So, yeah. That's the Supreme Court wing. It looks super cool up there. Wish you could see it in person. Anyway, I don't know where we're going next, but... I think we have to go forward from the museum. I'm coming back without vlogging, but let's find somewhere else to go. And we left the gallery, so we can head out to the Esplanade, um, Esplanade Theater, and we are right now at the Esplanade Park. That is the National Gallery right there, and of course the bubbles on that side seems to be a memoriam right here it says our glorious dead 1914 to 1918 eerie i wonder what this monument is for i mean of course it is to remember fallen it is during the China War. I keep saying Esplanade Theater, and this is what I meant by Esplanade Theaters. It's two eggs with spikes that look like armadillo. That is Esplanade Theater. So we're going there right now. Oh, well, we can't cross the street. There is actually a walkway underground we can take so we don't get hit by any cars we're really not going inside the theater for a show we're just checking it out outside well I do wish that we had uh, time to actually watch a show at the Esplanade but we don't so it's the walkway don't get scared you're not lost you're not in space although this looks like my capsule hotel <laughs> Where I'm staying with all these blue lights, but it looks so cool. So we are at the main lobby of the Esplanade Theatres and they have an exhibition. It's called Sang, A Journey to Return Home. It's regarding a paper moon puppet. Cool. Oh.
trying to find the exit so we can see the Singapore Flyer because they're next to each other and we're passing just through these restaurants and look at this amazing light. Yeah. Now, where to go? It says Outer Theater. Okay. We found our direction. And we're by the water again. So we made it out of the theaters and we're heading to the circular now, the Singapore um, flyer. Let's go by the water so you can see more views. That's the view again. It's much clearer day today compared to the last time I vlogged. Oh, look at Merlion over there. So much people. They never they never stop we never stop actually it's of course it's the famous uh, mascot of singapore people like to uh, take photos there anyway um let me show you again that little structure over there lotus is the art muse art museum i might go there actually at the tip of the um Murray Bay Sands at the bar because it's free to get in but you just need to order something at the bar and yeah that's the Chris Flyer over there Chris did I say Chris Flyer Singapore Flyer I think so all right anyway by the way my travel friends if you have not subscribed to this channel please do it means a lot to me because it helps me out with the algorithm and it pushes my videos a little bit more and I get views more views more likes more people it helps with me grow my channel and also if you have not followed me on all my socials I have Instagram I have Facebook I have TikTok I have Twitter I think and they're all LJ chosen LJ C H O S E N LJ chosen my travel friends add me up thanks and Right there, all these colorful seats. It's the Marina Bay Grandstand. This is where you actually sit and watch fireworks shows. Shows where? Here. It's called the float. And why do you call it the float? Because you got it right. This is a floating stage. It's not really land. Hmm. Makes sense. We are closing into the flyer, so so close to this amazing structure. And if you want to go there from this area, there is a very beautiful, famous bridge that you can take right about there. Let's go closer because you can't appreciate if you're not close enough. The details of that bridge and you already know why it's called the helix bridge right yeah because it's a helix I should cross it but my direction is actually the other way closer to that Chris flyer so moving forward finally here at the Singapore flyer and you can see it right there it is moving, although it's not open yet. It opens from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. daily. It's the single flyer right there. One big whatever do you call that thing. It's not a roller coaster. And you pay 40 Singaporean dollars to ride that all the way up. I think it's a really good view, sunset, when the sky is clear or nighttime, and the lights are on. But it's just not. I'm not doing things like that. Like, I'm not even going to the observatory deck because the view won't be as good. And I'm paying for a very cloudy day. So, um, yeah, just saving money. But if you have the money, might as well try it when you're here I'm sure it's a pretty good view when you're up there all right
right from the Singapore flyer to the next destination we are taking the MRT because it's a bit far it's a 20 minute walk and I'm saving my energy so we're going to downtown so yeah taking the train the stop closest to the um, what you want, the <laughs> Singapore Flyer is the promenade, right? So if you want to go close to the Singapore Flyer, you take the train to the promenade and you're there. Downtown, bound, I'm hungry. So actually we are going to Haji Lake. I think it's in the Arab Quarter, so that's one area we're checking. After a quick lunch break, which I just enjoyed so much, I paid five Singaporean dollars for a lot of food. I might insert a video somewhere here, maybe here, of what I ate. It's pork chop and rice, but it's very local and I really love the taste. Anyway, we are on our next destination. It's the Haji Lane. So it is, uh, it's almost like Harajuku of Japan. They have uh, an alley full of restaurants and bars and stalls and shops. And it's all painted and it's beautiful. So I'm gonna take you to the Haji Lane and check it out. So people really like to take photos here because it's very unique. This small alley of beautiful paintings Mayan culture here that's from a restaurant so by the way if you ever decide to eat here it is quite expensive only because this is a very touristy spot I've had a friend who actually ate at this Mexican restaurant they paid for about 20 something US dollars for a meal which is quite expensive but if you have the money and you want to enjoy the experience of eating here you are good we are at the end of Haji Lane and I hope that was a good view of the camera because I don't intend on going back there. Um, we are heading out to the Sultan Mosque. We are actually in the Arab Park right now and this is one of the areas that I wanted to explore. I was going to eat here but I got really hang hungry while walking. Anyway, let's explore a little bit more of the Arab Park. Aladdin has a store. <laughs> it's Aladdin's textile. Aladdin's textile, not Aladdin's carpet. Okay, we can. Uh, you know what? I I want to I want to cross. Let's wait for a little bit. Okay, this is Aladdin's store. I told you about it. Next to the princess store. And this is how it looks like. There's a tall building, the village actually next to this beautiful small houses and the rest of the colored stores are on that side the Sultan Mosque To the Hagia Sophia, right? So imagine how grand that is compared to the other mosque. But definitely, I know Dubai or Qatar or Kuwait or one of the Middle Eastern countries they have amazing and new beautiful mosques, mosques right now. Okay, it's just for Muslims only. I right outside the mosque it just really reminds me of Turkey I mean of course it's a Islamic country the same as this quarter 
but it has become a kind of quite of tourist spot this mosque see a lot of people coming in here and this is the lane where you actually eat a lot of food and drink there's there's a lane directly leading to the mosque and that's why I told you this is the restaurant row and shop row but I should have waited so I can eat here although I am already full from what I ate but of course it's gonna be a bit expensive also around here it looks really nice we have Turkish food as well it's a lot of Turkish food <laughs> kunefe and baklava I've missed that oh chili crab yeah oh I remember this I had this in Cappadocia I had that in Cappadocia where it's actually originated from and I tried it there it was really off right off the end of the hallway before that leads to the there is a place called Jamal Kazuna or Aromatics and you can make your own fragrances from this place it's amazing the smell right now you can smell it it's really really good and I'll turn the camera around these are just the bottles of the perfume that you are gonna make and mix it's it's amazing it's beautiful look at that's inside although I'm not getting one but look at this Right? Just the cases. Okay, travel friends. As much as I wanted to explore more of Singapore, and I've been wanting to go to Little India, but I'm a bit tired now. I'm exhausted from walking, and I still have to save my energy for later because I am officially going out at night for the first time here in Singapore because it's my birthday and I have a little special light treat to myself so I'm ending the vlog here I hope you like our little adventure in Singapore and also please don't forget to like this video and if you have other questions regarding Singapore in general what to do where to go write it in the comments below and of course subscribe to my channel it helps a lot thank you so much for following me and i appreciate all the love see you later all friends bye